back to, to your personal story what like how did you smarten up okay so I, I i i read more there was material on the internet and beyond it about what life in in russia and what the, uh, was actually like and what the soviet union was actually like and i had i had this amazing book that today just smells like dust called uh a hundred great people or personalities so it was just like a list a long list of a hundred people who shaped the world so it will be like uh, genghis khan and john of arc and and uh, moses and and for several people it will be like two three pages long and for several people it will be like about uh, like tens of pages not a very long book And the book, of course, had uh, great people of the 20th century, like uh, such as Hitler and uh, Lenin and Stalin. And for me, Stalin was the man who made the USSR a powerhouse. Great again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great at the start. He was the original yeah. make it great. And so I and 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 for a for a long time my perception of him was he was a strong man who did what he needed to do to achieve the dream of communism and uh, and also which was very important to me being Jewish he 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 defeated Hitler yeah so without without the USSR we I would I would say we would all be speaking German but we would probably not be speaking at all Yeah. Um, so I read about Stalin um, and the book wasn't very very deep about Stalin but a couple of things made me mm, cringe uh, yeah, cringe, is a, cringe cringe is a very 21st century world word I don't know if I cringed I I don't know I I was uh, I was uneasy about it um, and I read some more. And I started to get really an, an, uneasy, an, an uneasy feeling. So basically the story of uh, Stalin, I think, can be summarized in he killed um, both directly with like specific orders. First he got born. He was born. Yeah. yeah. Then. Yeah. Every, everybody gets born. Uh, that's, that, that's not important. Then he killed. <laughs> so he killed an astounding number of people. in the what I read back then I think it was it was in the hundreds thousand it. it's a book from 1970 or 80 right okay so it was today we know more yes exactly so today we know a lot more but even back then so after he died there was a, a process of destalinization and the crimes let's call it the crimes of Stalin came to light and but that book I think was written a bit before that but today we know he killed millions exactly. So tens I was a, I was tens of millions. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a touchy feely squeamish guy. You know, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands also upset my stomach. So imagine if I if I would have known at the start that he killed millions. But I I saw that he killed a lot of people and not just, you know, Nazis, okay? And a bunch of a bunch of uh, a bunch of communist people. It's still I think I have to say it's still rather unclear whether he directly di- uh, ordered the killings of all of these people or some of them just died because of communist uh, policy let's call it like that but he was very indifferent to it to say the least okay, okay but so. that we knew mm. that we know I didn't know that okay back then <laughs> I had a, I had me and my friend we had we were like three or four communist friends. But another friend, a T-shirt with Stalin on it. Wow. So like the wow. Che Guevara shirt was nothing yeah, to us. That's that's, not, yeah. Che Guevara was a nothing burger. <laughs> Stalin, Stalin, Stalin controlled millions. Yeah. Okay. So when I think about it today, I, 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 I realize it's, it's, it's exactly the same like giving someone a Hitler T-shirt. 